Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome back to Holly Harvest Farm. So it is actually an evening video. It's also a weekday, which I don't usually do, but we are out here because I'm going to take care of a myth in what we do on this farm. And we also got a whole bunch of pumpkins. So my elementary school that I teach at, they had an event and they had a bunch of leftover pumpkins. So they gave them to us to give to the animals. We're gonna take some pumpkins out to the goats and pigs, and then we're gonna go, uh, like I said, we're gonna go take care of a myth today. So come on, let's go. Oh, piggies. I got pumpkins. What? Get it, Norm. There you go, Ellie. I don't know if I've ever mentioned before, but filming in the goat pen is not an easy task. I set up my little tripod and all this stuff, and of course, Lucas comes over and messes with it. Let's give him some pumpkins. Guys. A little high. There we go. We'll get it. Come here. Noel, did you get a pumpkin? All right, so we're out here in the hollies. As you know, we are Holly Harvest Farm. We have over 200 holly trees here on the property. Different varieties, different colors of berries, all of those things. And we don't have bushes. Everybody always thinks of holly as having holly bushes. We do not have holly bushes. We have holly trees okay so 20 30 foot high holly trees and every single year i'm opening my phone right now every single year we get this post this post right here this post says if a holly tree finds its leaves are being nibbled by deer it modifies its dna to make them spiky when they regrow so on taller holly trees, the upper leaves, which are out of reach, have smooth edges while the lower leaves are prickly. That's what it says right here, okay? And all these people put down, oh, I didn't know that, I didn't know that, I didn't know that, I didn't know that, okay? There's post after post after post about this. Well, I am going to prove that wrong, okay? So we're obviously on the ground. I'm walking around on the ground. We've got holly trees surrounding me. If we look over here, okay, we've got beautiful, spiky holly leaves. And you're gonna say, yeah, well, that's what it says, is that it's supposed to be spiky on the bottom and smooth up top, okay? Spiky holly leaves. Uh, let me come over here. Spiky holly leaves. These are different varieties, by the way. And you might say they all look the same. They don't. If you were to come here, we know the difference between them. Not, I don't know what the varieties of them all are, but I do know the difference of looking at the trees. So again, more very spiky, very pokey holly leaves. Now, to prove this as being wrong, that the top ones are smooth, we're gonna climb a tree, a holly tree. So let's get to climbing, come on, let's go. All right, so we're underneath the holly trees, we're gonna climb um, this one right here. This one right here is on the video that I just took. Um, I'm gonna hook you up to my tripod. I'm gonna attach you kind of to me, hold on to you. And we're gonna go climb this tree. I've climbed to the top of all these trees, so I know it can be done. It's not a lot of fun. I'm in my long sleeves, I got pants on, but we're gonna go climb to the top. And I'm gonna prove that at the top, 
those leaves are just as pokey as the ones on the bottom because they are. But not to spoil it, they are. Let's climb to the top of the tree. Come on. All right, got you my little tripod here. I'm gonna try not to fall out of the tree while I'm climbing it, kind of with only one hand. Now, these holly trees, when we bought the property, were completely covered in vines and poison. And well, I spent time climbing to the top of every one of these trees. Yeah. All right, a couple feet off the ground. Not that tall, so it seems much higher to me. Trying not to fall. Also, the thing I'm scared of is I'm gonna get all the way up here. I'm gonna drop my camera. I'm gonna have to climb all the way back down. Get my camera again. Okay. Okay. We're still not at the top. By the way, still pokey. Still uh, not at the top. Hold on, I gotta switch main beams here. I got one main beam. Not dropping my camera here. I'm gonna switch to another main beam. Uh, let me see here. I wanna be over there. Hmm. Ow! Still pokey, by the way. Uh, yeah, I'm on the wrong beam. Let me leave you guys. I'm not gonna leave you. I'm gonna keep this kind of all one deal here. Let's see. Okay, climbing up to the top of the tree. All right, so. Still got another couple feet to go, but we're gonna kind of call this the top of this tree. Oh, let me see. I can get a little bit higher. Yeah. Okay. Wow. What an awesome view. Mm -hmm. Ow. Ow. That one hurt. Let me switch you around so you can see the view. Whew. All right, so this is the view that we've got. So those are the tops of the other holly trees. Uh, big mama tree, I call her big mama over there. She's doing good. But we're at the top. I want you to notice that these trees, yeah, these trees are still very, very pokey. Somebody even said that they switched to just becoming less pokey up at the top, less spiky. Well, lies, lies, lies. Yeah, so we are, oh, I don't know. I'm probably 30 feet up in the air in a holly tree. If I look down, let's see if I can even look down from here. Woo, straight down. It's a nice straight shot all the way down there. Ah. Uh, I'm at the top, and, well, hold on. And well, these trees are still very, very pokey. They are right here, covered in pokey leaves. They are also very berryful. Um, I'll try to get a picture. I'll try to spin around and get a picture for, uh, for you and show you how full of berries they are up here at the top of the trees. They're gorgeous up here. They, some of them look like they're on fire. They're that, they're that red up here. Um, but yeah, so holly trees. Hey, everybody out there, send this clip around. Holly trees are pokey at the tops too. Yeah, pokey at the tops of the trees. 
Just saying. That whole clip that goes online, and everybody posts and they send it to us. Love that you're sending it to us. It's not true. That's a different type of holly tree. Or from time to time, I do see some of our leaves that have a little bit of a smooth edge to them, but it's on like a branch with other pokey ones. So it's got nothing to do with that. It's just a, a mutation on the tree. It's just a, a, a different variety of tree. It's not that it's because of deer nibbling on them. I've got deer all over this property all the time. Jonathan just was videoing a, a deer. We have video, of, we have deer everywhere. It's not because of that. It, it's, I can go find little tiny, little low ones that have, ow, ow, that are pokey. I can find uh, all the other 200 varieties that are, or not varieties, not varieties. The other 200 trees that are on the property are also pokey. We do not have any smooth leaves. You will find some, we don't have them. We only have the pokey kind, lucky us. But yeah, so let me turn this video around so I can show you the, the red, hold on. Okay, so this is the top of that tree. Look at how red these trees are, wow. Berries and berries and berries forever, look at them. Whew. They look good this year. You can't eat them, but they look good. So that is it from Holly Harvest Farm this week. I just wanted to prove this, this clip that goes around, this, this thing that goes around. I'm going to attach it to as many of them as I find, people posting it, this video, because nope, pokey holly trees, American holly, pokey, pokey holly trees. And if you'd like to find out more about our holly or even come and visit us during the holiday season, reach out to us, hollyharvestfarm.com, uh, hollyharvestfarm at gmail.com, all the social medias, all of those things, reach out to us. We'd love to have you come and visit. Come cut some holly. We'd love for you to take it and decorate your place. But I think that's going to be it. I got to get down from this tree. We will see you next time. Bye. Bye.